Welcome back, everyone. Hardyman here, back for another episode of FTB Beyond Hard Times. And last episode, we uh, built our first ME system. Well, for me, it was my first ME system, but I guess it was also the first for this world. Because this world, unless you specifically looked up the seed and, and got that, uh, this should have been the first time this has been used. Maybe. We'll see. But, uh, yeah. Built that. Started storing all the things, as you can see, to my left, your right, all of our chests, crates, uh, golden chests, all that good stuff, gone off the side of that hill. Uh, the chests and stuff that were over here, also gone. Um, and yeah, they're all being stored. I had to make two, I think it was two more, uh, those 4K drives, because, yeah, apparently, uh, 4 times 63 whatever that was, had more stuff than that. Um, I think it was also those, uh, what were they, uh, those little, like, capacitor things, or whatever they're called, that we found in, like, dungeons and stuff. Uh, apparently those don't stack, so they each take up one space, so I may go through and take those back out and just put them in, like, a chest somewhere. Um, cause I, I don't, I don't really even know what you do with those. I don't know if they're, like, something that you can use with a machine or something, I, I, I don't know, I'll, I'll look that up later, but they each take up their, like, one singular thing, I think there's probably, like, I don't know, 20, 30 of them, so, that's a, that's a good proportion of those slots being taken up just by one item, and forever probably one item, so, maybe, we'll, we'll take about looking, or, take a look at, maybe, taking those out, I don't know, we'll, we'll see, but anyway, this episode, it's gonna be a little bit weird, uh, mainly because I was looking through stuff, and I had said that we may try to do that other mob farm today, but one of the things, uh, that I kind of want to do, if I guess, and I think I may have talked about it last episode as well, but if we get out F5 and F1, let's see, what was it, Cursed, Cursed Earth, so, yeah, aggressively spawns mobs when darkness, only fire can stop its spread. So that would be perfect for a mob farm. Uh, so how do you get that? Right-click soul with a drop of evil. Okay, how do you get that? Drop of evil. It's a drop from wither skeletons. Okay, so we have to go to uh, the nether, kill a, bunch of whole, like a whole bunch of those to get, I guess, one of those. It's a 10% drop, and it's affected by looting. Um, I can't remember if the Ender... Does the Ender... Does it have a increased looting? Oh, it's only Skulls and Ender Pearl drops. So, I don't know if adding another layer to... Or, like, level to Empowered does that, or if that just increases the damage and the power. So, I don't know. I guess we don't really have a looting thing so yeah so I mean still it's a 10% chance so that means if I kill 10 of them there's a chance I should get at least one so maybe what's this okay yeah it's just a rare drop so okay I mean I guess we could try to do that today I think we also probably just need to go and get one of our soul vials and just capture one of them as well uh, just so hopefully whenever we have another spawner I can just make one of those and get it that way if I can't do it this uh, like today so let's go over to our ME system since all of our stuff is over there basically now what's that oh so have that on because I got a, a zombie like I don't know if he spawned right here or if he fell down from there but he was he was just waiting for me whenever I get, came out of here I was like oh that's that's bad because if there's a creeper who comes in here blows this up it's gonna be very it's gonna be very bad all right so what are we looking for soul vial give me one of those i think all we need is one right so yeah also i uh expanded this out a little bit uh because i kind of i think I, I said it last time this is probably not the the final state of this or final location for it uh so i kind of just wanted to see how large of an area we could actually have as a room and i hit to the outside world right there. Oh, I lost that. Give me those. So this is that uh, little fjord or whatever you want to call this. So can't do anything there. 
Nope, let me get that out. So I'm gonna replace this so nothing walks in from that side. And over here is a eucalyptus tree, um, which is, oh, apparently I placed a torch. It's, you know, just down the way from our actual base. So again, can't really do anything there. So that's basically the two extents. Can't go any further that way, can't go any further this way. So I even may bring it in from those two areas so that we can compress that a little bit. But yeah, still a fairly large area. And I still don't really know what else I need to do. Because I, I won't do, what is it, like the auto crafting thing. And I think there's, you could set it up to like auto smelt and stuff like that as well. I, I do believe. So I kind of want to do that. But I just don't know how. So I'm, I'll am have to like read up on that and maybe watch a few uh, videos and stuff like that to, you know, do that. But uh, let's go ahead and go into the nether really quickly and, uh, you know, see what we can see. And I guess probably uh, I'll show you, well, I guess I'll, sh I'll show you what I've done in the mine Richard first. So that hopefully we can end on a good note of getting a drop of evil. But, uh, yeah, I think I told you that I changed this thing in here to a clearing quarry, uh, because I, I just didn't know, like, where it was stopping, because every time it run, or ran out of power, oh, got some lag there for whatever reason, uh, it had to, like, start over, so I was like, where, where is it actually starting over? Also, I want to know, uh, that thing right there. Uh, cause we were getting a whole bunch of obsidian and it was like high up. Cause as you can see, it's pretty high up. So I was like, what, what is that? And I started getting, if we go over there, I think that's two of them right there. Oh, also silent jetpack. That's weird. Uh, let's see here. We got iridium ore and platinum ore inside of this weird like obsidian structure so I was like that's odd I didn't even know that was a thing but apparently it is so anyway cleared out basically this entire row and it's now started on that um, I think I'm gonna hold off on doing it anymore though until I can get uh, this upgraded to either fortune or silk touch because, yeah, it's it's basically whenever it hits diamonds or something, it's only getting me like one. So, I kind of want more than one, if I can. Did it hit diamonds? Uh, if it did, I guess I took them out. But, uh, yeah, I kind of I kinda want more than just one diamond. Uh, or draconium ore. There was um, some in this last little chunk that they did. And I just was down there, happened to be down there, and I, I got it up with my, my steel pickaxe. So... Got, I think, like, 12 out of that, so probably a lot more than what it would have given me. So, anyway, going back through here, uh, I guess while we're in there, one of the things that we need to upgrade that is in the nether. So, I guess we can keep an eye out for that. But, uh, let's see here. Let me eat up there a little bit. Get over here. Uh, let's see. Have I done anything with these bees? Oh, yeah, I cleaned them out, but... It's whatever. I haven't actually done anything else with the uh, machines either. So, waiting on that. Let's get in here and see if we can capture a wither skeleton and, uh, I don't know, other stuff. So let's see here. Got that. Um, where was that fortress? There's that fortress. Oh, I should also probably have, uh,. Redone my uh, jetpack and stuff, right? Well, hopefully, it doesn't come to us needing to uh, get out of here quickly and running out. Alright, so here it is. Let's see if we can find one of these guys real quick. Capture them, maybe kill a couple of them. Guess let me get that on the bar. So, what is it? Is it just right click again? Right click on a mob to capture soul. Right click again to release it. Okay, so there's no shifting or anything like that. So let's see here. Do they... can't remember if they spawn, even if it's lit up or not. 
If so, then we're going to have to keep going down further. Wait a second. Was that? No. I thought I saw... Qu uh, not quartz. Uh, nether wart on the outside. I was like... Is that new? That seems weird. Alright, so let's see here. Oh, we got more nether quartz. Or nether wart. Golly. Words uh, over here. Any guys? I don't see any. And that's it. Because I'm also... Another reason why I'm bringing you along is I think if we can also get a blaze spawner, maybe that will be able to uh, do it as well. Because if we come across one of those, I, I will definitely be breaking it. Let's see here. We went down that way. There's just a, a bone in here. Did I leave that? Maybe. Because, yeah, if we can get one of these guys and a spawner uh, and be able to make that today, that would be uh, pretty cool. What was that? Oh, it's one of those guys. Uh, is he this way? How you doing, little guy? Oh, hello. There you go. You did, sir. Oh, uh, this is where we found those blazes, right? Yeah, they were, they were down there. Okay, so... I guess up these... Stairs right here. That's where we haven't been. Don't hear any clinkling of bones. Okay. Oh, we got a open area. See if we can kill him real quick. There we go. Got any more guys? Oh, there's another one. Is that a... No, that's not a spawner. I don't think so. That's really close. Oh. Was that him or... Oh, there's a guy right there. Okay. Um... Hmm. Let's see... There you go, sir. Let's go down here. Uh, I guess I should also be lighting this up as I'm going, but eh, it's whatever. Okay, so that's a dead end. I guess let me light up in here. So I know exactly where I've been going a little bit. There we go. Oh, there's a spawner. I see that spawner. Oh, hello. Oh, no. Oh, I'm gonna die. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, nope. I'm, I got half heart. Eat it. Eat it. Uh, I did get that, though. So let's, uh, maybe run in here real quick. Heal up a little bit more. Oh, that was so close, though, guys. So we got that spawner. So that's good. Um, let's see here. I need... Those blocks, please. So, if they do come down here, I'm not, you know, just here out in the open. Uh, let's see here. Let's get some more blocks. I guess I should have just kept those out right there. There we go. Alright, so let's see here. Can I... How many arrows do I have? 17? Uh, not, probably not enough. All right. Where you at, guy? Got one of them. Let's see if I can kill these guys from afar. Okay, they're very angry. I don't know if I hit him. I think I got him that time, though. Oh. Come on. There we go. Okay. Apparently there's one more somewhere. I don't know where he's at. But we got what we came for. At least partially. Where you at? Oh, there you are. Oh, holy moly. Okay, we got a couple of them over there. Can't really get to them. We got seven arrows left. 
Uh, they're kind of down though, so I, I don't really know if I can get them. Unless they come back up here. Golly, guys. Okay, well let's let's just get on with our mission of trying to find a wither skeleton. Let's see, where is he at? Is he below us? Maybe. Oh yeah, he's right. He's right there. He's right below where we were. Good night. He's just hanging out there. All right, I see one of them right there. So, or is that a fireball? Nope, oh, that's one of them. How you doing, pig man? Don't try to hurt me. Okay, so where's he at? Is he down here? I don't know. Just continuing on. Oh, there's a wither skeleton. So let's get this. Let's go capture this guy and get out of here. Hello, sir. Thank you, sir. And there's that. Get your little ones. And we're out. Let's also eat so we don't die on the way out of here. All right, so let's see here. Oh. Hello? Oh. All right, so how do we get out of here? Came this way and we get down. But I think I'm going to go and cut here and I will meet you back whenever we get into the overworld because now that we're safe, uh, we got Wither Skeleton Vile, got a Broken Spawner uh, that we're going to change to a uh, Wither Skeleton Spawner, and uh, yeah, that's basically it. So we can actually go ahead and get started trying to uh, get this drop of evil so we can get our other mob farm hopefully up and running. So yeah, pretty good stuff. So stay tuned for that. All right, guys, welcome back. So back here, safe and sound. Uh, so to actually make it, uh, or change the, the blade spawner to a wither skeleton spawner, I forgot we needed one extra thing, and that is this soul binder. And as it, the tooltip says, use to convert the type of broken spawner. Uh, so, yeah, I think I have everything. We indeed do. I'm glad I kept that creeper head. I think we only have one uh, creeper head from, I don't even remember what, but we have one. So we're good there. So let's get that. Yeah, see, we only had one, so I'm so glad I kept it and didn't use it in, like, a recipe or something. So, let's get out of there, and oh, I guess we need probably power for it. Do I have, I have one energy conduit? Ah, oh, golly. Okay, so let's take that out. Um, I guess I could just probably set it down right there. Yeah, okay, so throw that in there and this in there. So, use my XP, yeah, do it. Wow, that's, uh, that's kind of terrifying. Okay, so it looks like it's going to take a while. So, I may cut and meet back up with you whenever, uh, it's actually done. Oh, it's turning. Huh. Interesting. Okay, yeah. Probably going to cut again. Did not know it was going to take this long, so... Whenever we, I, I get back, we'll have it, so stay tuned. Alright guys, welcome back. So, as you can hear, it's not making that weird sound anymore, so looks like it's done. We get the soul vial back, cool. And we have a broken spawner with a skeleton. Uh, so yeah, we just have to combine it with this power spawner and an anvil, and we should be good to go. So, there, there. 16 levels, which we have plenty of, so we're good there. Uh, there we go. All right, so let's go, I guess, test this thing out. So let's see here. Do they take damage in water? I guess it really doesn't matter, but I just, I just don't know. All right, so let's see here. Can I place it down? There we go. Okay, so it is, it's turning. Uh, I guess I didn't need to make any more energy cables since I had a spot for it, but whatever. So, I guess that should just continue to go. Let's go down here. See if it'll work. See if they take damage. I, I, I don't know. Maybe. Oh, there's one of them. Doesn't take damage. But he does fall through that one wide hole. So, we're good there. Let's see. Is it only going to be one every time, though? Because that's, that's kind of bad. Uh, 
you don't get a whole lot at like you know out of that it's gonna take a while to I guess well it's gonna take ten times to you know theoretically get one of these drops of evil um maybe oh there we go there's three of them okay don't don't hurt each other yet just go down in there okay so let's see if those four got us anything uh, with a rib, with a dust, coal, sulfur. Haven't got us any XP? Do we already have 540? I can't remember. Anything out of that? Got a necrotic bone, but that's about it. So, yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and call the episode there. And let this run for a little bit. And hopefully next episode we'll be able to actually start the... Maybe layout for uh, a kind of just like cursed earth area of mob spawning. Uh, because, yeah, I'm thinking I may do another live stream. And that would actually, you know, help probably make that decision a little bit easier. Because uh, I'm probably going to have to redo this thing. And probably it's going to have to go either above or below uh, where our... ME system is so it could be you know semi nearby it so I'll have to you know scout that area as well but again I'll, I'll save that for either off camera or during the last stream like I said but hopefully you enjoyed this episode if you did leave a like a few comments leave those down below and subscribe to the channel and you may want to think about doing it but yeah got our second uh, new spawner up there and this one working a whole lot better than that spider spawner is so good times good times but yeah again hopefully you enjoyed hope you have a great rest of your day i'll talk to you next time bye bye